In today's demo, I'll be setting up a CockroachDB serverless multi-region cluster. First, I'll visit the Cockroach Labs cloud website. I'll log in with GitHub and I'll create a cluster. As this is a serverless demo, this cluster will be serverless. I can choose between cloud providers. I'll leave it at AWS. And as of 23.1, CockroachDB serverless supports multiple regions. So I'll add a couple more regions. So with this setup, I have a node in Europe, the Americas, and Asia. My primary region will be Frankfurt, although I could set that to any of them. I don't have a spending limit, so this is a completely free cluster, and I'll call this multi-region serverless demo. I'll create my cluster. And in a few seconds, the cluster will be ready. And I'm able to create a user. So let's generate a password. I'll copy that for later. For this demo, I'm just going to connect via the CLI. So I'll open up the general connection string, copy my user, head over to the console. And it will prompt me for my password. If I enter the password, I've connected to the cluster. Now, if I show regions, we can see that the CockroachDB is spread across the regions that I specified when creating the cluster. We have the Frankfurt node, the US node, and the node in Singapore. I'll create a database now and I'll show you what the regions for that look like. So every new database that I create will have the same primary region as the default database. I can change that. I can set any primary or secondary region for any database that I create. Let's do that now. I'll update the new example database to have a primary region of Singapore. And if I show regions again, we'll see that the primary region for the example database has been changed to the Singapore region, while the system table and any default databases that exist will still be the European region. To summarize, it took just a couple of seconds to spin up a multi-region distributed CockroachDB serverless cluster. Join me next time when I demonstrate the various topologies that are available through CockroachDB and why each one of them suits a different workload.